Key legislation underpinning Australia's nuclear submarine deal with the United States is expected to pass through US Congress next week. As Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen explains, the AUKUS deal has cleared some major hurdles ahead of schedule. Australia has negotiated an important export exemption with US Congress to help deliver on our $368 billion nuclear submarine deal. The amendments are included in what's called the National Defence Authorization Act. It's the only act that the US Congress has to pass each year, so it's highly competitive to get any amendments in. Congressional committees decide what's in and what's out. The powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee has cleared the way for a few important policies to enact AUKUS. First, it greenlights the transfer of two existing and operational Virginia-class submarines, as well as the construction of a third for Australia. These are to come into use while we wait for the new AUKUS-class submarines to be built. The legislation also grants Australia a nationwide exemption from U.S. export controls on defence technology. The vote on the state authorization bill is very bipartisan. The adding of AUKUS to the state authorization bill was overwhelming, um, so I feel really good. Critically, U.S. senators have agreed in a bipartisan move to allow that exemption to stay in place for the next 20 years. There will be a uh, review and renewal opportunity after 20 years. So, um, if we cast forward uh, to the year uh, 2044, um, I think we should have made some progress by then. If not, you're welcome to have you recalled as Australia's and as the United States. These AUKUS amendments have already survived a gruelling legislative process. Every member tries to get something in. The House alone considered 1,500 amendments to this act. It's expected they'll all be debated in the next week, with the actual bill expected to be passed right on deadline ahead of the August recess. Annalise Nielsen, Sky News, Washington, D.C.